Memes out. John Cabral with Fox Five. Hey John. Hey Lou. How are you? Fox Five, not my nine. Five. Fox Five and my nine. And in turn, we're field producing today. Um, yeah. Have a couple of questions for you. One of them is: Do you have any comment on um, Mayor Camerano's resignation today? Well, I think it was appropriate. Um, we've been calling for it, and behind the scenes, we've been putting a lot of you know, pressure. We will do the same with regard to the one remaining mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's very hard to govern while mm -hmm. uh, under arraignment and uh, the kind of charges that have been brought forth. Mm -hmm. Credibility is is lost, and I think it is appropriate that those individuals uh, work on their defense, uh, find out guilt or innocence. But I think in the interim, citizens are better served. Do you have any comment on uh, Don Zimmer? Well, I spoke with uh, Ms. Zimmerman uh, right before I came here, Mayor Zimmerman, and uh, feel very uh, constructive about uh, someone who cares about my town, mm -hmm. Hoboken. And uh, I know she's uh, motivated to do the right things, and uh, you know, I look forward to working with her. And looking into the future and in your campaign for governor, uh, how does your campaign plan to address the issue of corruption in the state of New Jersey? Well, first thing we want to do is get those people who are uh, under the cloud of investigation to accept their responsibility and step aside. That's the most important mm -hmm. thing. By the way, the laws that deal with bribery have been on the books for mm -hmm. about time immemorial. I think Moses came down and said, Thou shalt not steal from uh, uh, from many, many eons ago. People know what right and wrong is. We have to get people who are of character, strong character, in the public office. We need to be able to have the kinds of resources to make sure that we have enough uh, controllers and policemen on the street corner to push back. And frankly, we need fewer levels of government in the state so that there are fewer places where uh, those who would abuse the system uh, know how to uh, go and attack the system. We just have too many uh, municipalities, too many uh, units of government. And just to wrap things up, do you have any comment on the tax rebate program for the senior citizens? Well, the reason I'm here today at this senior center is tomorrow uh, most of these seniors will be receiving a rebate check, the same rebate check that they received last year and the year before. Um, in addition to that rebate check, which averages about $1,300 for New Jersey seniors, mm -hmm. there are almost 140,000 New Jersey seniors that also receive a senior freeze check. So that's about $1,100 between the two. Most of our seniors are getting substantial property tax relief, $2,400. And uh, while they don't always put it together with their uh, property tax bill, they're getting substantial property tax relief. If you qualify for the senior freeze, you'll never have any property tax increases. Alrighty, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. Take Bye -bye. care. Now, Brenda, Harry, Audrey, and Russ. This is My Nine News. The New Jersey corruption scandal takes out another mayor. Hoboken Mayor Peter Camerano resigned today. Now the city has someone new at the helm, a woman, and she's the first female mayor of Hoboken. Giovanna Derfick has details. Don Zimmer just barely lost the runoff election in Hoboken. But today, she was sworn in as acting mayor of Hoboken. This was a crisis for our city, and that, that's always been... You know, that is my honest feeling, that this was a crisis for our city. Zimmer's family and supporters witnessed the quick change in leadership. The Castiglione's even brought their four-month-old daughter, Sophia, so she'd be president of Zimmer. The first female acting mayor of Hoboken was sworn in. I'm going to tell Sophia that she was here in Hoboken for a historic occasion. A bright new beginning for Zimmer turned into a dark day for Peter Camerano. The 32-year-old was sworn in just 30 days ago. He left his home in Hoboken this morning, resigning under public and private pressure as he faces federal corruption charges. Governor Corzine says he'd been working behind the scenes to force Camerano to step down. 
a stunning turn of events, given that reports say Corzine actually made Camerano guest of honor at Corzine's 4th of July party. I think it's very hard to govern while mm -hmm. uh, under arraignment and uh, the kind of charges that have been brought forth. After greeting her supporters outside, Zimmer said she'll start making calls to department leaders. We're committed to um, bringing a, a government that's open and, and honest. James Castiglione says politics moves fast in Hoboken. It's telling that his daughter Sophia, who is only four months old, has already lived through the tenure of three mayors. David Roberts, Peter Camerano, and now Don Zimmer. Sophia was here to witness all of this, and that's what I'll be telling her. And there will now be a special election in November to determine the next mayor of Hoboken. And Don Zimmer says it's a safe bet she'll be running for the job. From Hoboken City Hall, Giovanna Derpik, My 9 News.